400 metres and we're at the Devil's Marbles Hotel. That over there is the DMH, mate. High five, my love. Giddy up, 593 kilometres today, and here's Banker Banker. There's the campground and the homestead sort of station set up down there. Have a couple of wines and get a bit loose. What? Uh, Beck had this grand idea that she was going to drink chai lattes all day, every day. Hours of fun at the Daily Waters, mate. Check out the children. <laughs> <laughs> we'll sit here for a few minutes and probably have an argument and then we'll decide where we're going to go and we'll let you know. <laughs> well, um, tell me, didn't, didn't one of our kids learn to swim here? Yeah. Love that joint, mate. If you're coming through the north and you need to go to Mataranka, which you have to, you need to go there. You don't must, it's need, it's, I don't know what I'm saying. Right. Jack got up, um, pretended to be a steam train. Yeah. Have you seen Bearsy's hiking attire? <laughs> yeah. Pretty good, isn't it? Come up here, Bear. Show us what you're doing the hiking. <laughs> a pair of togs and a pair of boots. <laughs> oh, good save. Rate it out of 10, what do you give this joint? 11. Upper pools at Edith for the win, mate. <laughs> Actually, a little FIR. I used to live in Darwin. She did. Back I lived when there she was for a years. Mad dog. And, yeah, I was mm. mad dog. <laughs> I tell you what, we've done well, my love. I know. You're not quite in the frame there, know, sorry, lean over. Uh, 400 metres and we're at the Devil's Marbles Hotel. It's 386 kilometres from Alice Springs. Um, the kids have watched a few movies, we've listened to a podcast. Yeah. It's really good actually, it was called... The Shore Thing. There it's about... Um, a couple two, of inside traders or something. Yeah, two young fellas from Australia. Get on it. It's a really good it. podcast. Anyway, we've we're going to pull up at this place called um, Warchope, Warhope, Warchoppy, <sighs> however you want to say it. Warhope, sure. And we're going to... Um, well, there's a war hope near Kempsey on the yeah. south or New South Wales. But yeah. anyway, this is Devil's Marbles Hotel. It looks pretty good. There's a pool and stuff here. You can stay here. We are actually just going to stop here um, for lunch. And we're going to, well, I still want to make it to Banker Banker. What do you reckon? Um, yeah. What Otherwise, else? the other thing on the radar is a place called the Spinifex Ridge um, Farm Stay. But anyway, lunch. And then I might go for a look in the, the DMH. And um, then we'll keep cracking. Devil's Marbles Hotel. Oh. And then we'll keep cracking. Anyway, just a quick update for you. It's a whole lot of nothing along the way. Well, that over there is the DMH, mate. And I'll tell you, it's easy. Four or five degrees hotter here than it was in Alice. My um, what's on the yeah, menu? What's um, lunch, kiddos? Um, kids are having tuna and brown rice, and yeah. I'm gonna make some tuna on some rice cakes. What, are you what about for fried old rice. daddy? Yeah. What? My what? butt's sore from sitting in the car for Me too, too long. Me too. My back's sore. It's, it's really been the longest sore. stink we've done in one hit for a while. We don't usually like driving too far. But... My butt. All right, lunch time. Actually, I wouldn't mind just stopping here, dear, but it's too early in the day, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's pretty, well, they've got a pool here. It's like, that is so tempting. We'll have a look at this banker. Banker might have a pool too. I just want to punch the cage. You know when you have like, if you just want to do a travel day and your day's buggered anyway, you might as well just do as many Ks as you can, but. That's for kids like you. Yeah, they're doing pretty good. High five, my love. Giddy up, 593 kilometers today. And here's Banker Banker. Turn around. All right, there's a lot of people, <laughs> in there. people in there. Welcome to Banker Banker West. Right on. Cheers to that, mate. Cheers to that. 580 Ks of top end driving. We don't normally do that long, do we? No. Yeah. And why don't we normally do that? We don't long? enjoy it. No, we don't. <laughs> hey, but we've ended up in a place called Banker Banker Station. It's right on the highway. There's a little lookout walk at the back. I'll spin you around. Have a look at this. There's the campground and the homestead sort of station set up down there. There you go. We are over here somewhere. <laughs> uh, so there's powered sites, unpowered sites. And again, we are the only person in the unpowered section. <laughs> There's probably, I reckon, at least 18 to 20 other vans in the powered bit. Um, and here we are just On our lone sitting over there, a bit windy up here. Um, nice. You probably hear it in the mic. But we're just gonna chill tonight and get ready for another big day tomorrow and um, head towards a place called Daily Waters.
Is that the plan? Yep, that is the plan. Daily Waters Pub. I'm yep. excited to go there. I love that little stop. Yep. Um, apparently, it's just been recently taken over too. So, keen to see what they've done to it since we were last there in 2017. Oh, Long time ago. 2017, I'm pretty sure. But Beck reckons she tells me she's keen to tie one on. So, she's going to have a couple of wines and get a bit loose. Woo! Leave her bra on the roof of the pub I and all that do, sort I of stuff. I might leave my bra for sure. I reckon I'll... <laughs> is that the bra pub or is this? You're oh, supposed to leave something remember. that Daily Waters. Yeah, there is it? something. Anyway, right. we'll make it. Might be your mark undies. There. Ooh, Ooh. no, I wouldn't do that. No, I wouldn't. I'd leave a bra. <laughs> but we'll leave our mark there. All right, hang on. We've got to go. We've got a five-year-old that's busting for the day. I'm busting. So yeah. Hey, how do you reckon you'd go doing a lookout walk of about 300 meters of all this shale and rock in uh, in bare feet? <laughs> I literally did it. <laughs> I'm literally barefoot right now. You're a rando. It didn't phase him at all. He's got feet like leather boots. <laughs> it's out of control. I literally I walked off here without complaining. <laughs> We're off this morning, leaving a little camp here. At um, <laughs> got that morning blank. Hey, excuse me. Sorry about this. Excuse me, dear. I've had a mental blank. I don't know what this place is called anymore. Thank you, Thank you banker. Banker, banker. There you go. I was thinking, what the hell? I was close. I said morning blank. Um, anyway, coffee time. Yeah. <laughs> I look yeah. like a really horrible accident. <laughs> what are you doing? Well, all the chai you had like. You know, oh, I'll tell you a story about the chai. Uh, Beck had this grand idea that she was going to drink chai lattes all day every day and this was about probably eight months ago and because it's been sitting in the cupboard for so long it, it's all gone rock hard and now I have to drink it because I don't like waste and stuff. Anyway, uh, we're leaving today. What are we going to try and do? We are going to try and get to Daily Waters which is about 4.50 maybe k's from here there you go. Um, and we want to stay at Daily Waters for the night and maybe have like a pub meal and apparently they've upgraded the pool and that there since we were there last so the kids can have a swim after a long day on the road. Sweet. Should be pretty easy. It's only 4.50 today instead of 600. And so to be honest, this road is really good road. It is good, man. Yeah. 100, like 100 wide, no traffic, killing it. Yeah. All right. Giddy Let's up. Let's smash it out. And like, what time is it? It's a PB. Come on. Giddy up. Giddy up. It's <laughs> 808. That is a personal Oh, verse. it's not. A, it's not. It's I, up there. We've done a seven before, I reckon. Um, but um, honest thoughts on Banker Banker, I'm going to start first. Awesome spot, um, really cool place to pull up, a little bit expensive, all right? So we paid 40 bucks for an unpowered site overnight. Um, well, I think that's a bit... Rich. Yeah, a bit, bit rich. Happy days, mate. Shit. We've made it. Um, we got our numbers a little bit wrong, eh? Because it only took us, well, it's 11.30 and we're at Daily Waters. So there you go, I don't know how we managed that. But I'm glad we got here early, because have a look at this. It is like stoinker, like chockers. <laughs> um, anyway. Okay, we'll, yeah, I know, but you gotta go and book in, I'd say. Yeah, okay. Anyway, we'll go and book in and come back and park up. I'm tonguing for a frosty schooner, don't worry about that. Hours of fun at the Daily Waters, mate. Check out the children. <laughs> <laughs> right up your alley, isn't it? I love it. <laughs> so cool. In there, in the milk tin. Oh, that's here? Put your dollar in, yeah. Oh, reckon you could travel in a combi, dude? No, but that's... <laughs> I like it. 
Oh, wait, check this out. Look on the roof up here. It's like the biggest crocodile you'll ever see. Oh my goodness. And heaps of other cool stuff, like old cars, bikes. There's a combi in the corner that's just mental. And I like this. Check out the sticker on the front of this cop car. <laughs> if you've watched Wolf Creek, you'll know what that means. Hey, uh, give us your thoughts on Daily Waters. What do we get up to and um, should everyone come here or not? Daily Waters is 1000% a must stop if you're driving along the Stewart Highway. It is, it's, it's a historic pub and you just got to come here. I don't want to give away too many details, but um, fantastic campground. They put on a wicked meal, good vibes, um, really good um, just music. There's a awesome pool out the back for the kids to just run amok. There's a little playground here. And if you go, you know, if you go to Macca's, you know how you got those little Macca's playgrounds? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's like that yeah. there as well, it is, but like it Macca's is, playground. Yeah. yeah. It does look like they've um, relocated a Macca's playground here. But um, stop in at Daily Borders. It's, it's fantastic. It's quirky. It's cool. It's yeah, cheap. It's cheap. 20 bucks for unpowered out the back. Um, and the meals were fantastic. The beer was cold. So... We're feeling a little bit dusty today. I'm all right. Just Beck's a bit dusty. Anyway, where are we going today? Hour and a half up the road. Mataranka. Well, bit of springs, yeah. Mataranka, something like that. The hot springs. Right, I come in here. We've made it, mate. Where have we made it? Mataranka. <laughs> Check this out, because it's a bit of cool info. I didn't know this. Mataranka, capital of the Never Never. What does that mean? I don't know. We'll find out. And let you know. Capital of the Never Never. For us, there's a few choices when you get to um, old there's, Matters. Yeah, there is. So you've got Mataranka Homestead, which is really good. Mm -hmm. You've got Little Roper, Little Roper Stock, Stock Camp. Can nice speak feet. today. Uh, that's fantastic. And you've got uh, Bitter Springs Campground. Yeah, which so, we've been to two. We've yeah. been to um, the Homestead and uh, Little Roper. Yeah. But we haven't been to Bitter Springs Camping. Now, I... Uh, for us, Bitter, Spring, Bitter Springs. Oh, now who can't talk? Bitter Springs is the pick, all right? It's, oh. a, it's a natural one where yeah. you float down under the trees. It is way better than Mataranka oh Hot God. Springs. Stunning. But the homestead has a cool experience in campground, and they have the bar, the restaurant, and the Whippy Griggs Whip Show when he's there. So this is our little dilemma. We don't know what oh, we're going to do, but hate that. we'll sit here for a few minutes and probably have an argument, and then we'll decide where we're <laughs> going to go, and we'll let you know. Uh. All right, we've made a decision, and I was correct. We did have an argument about it, but we're we're we still going. Hang on. Oh my god, we can't talk today. This right is because oh. we had a late night last night. Take oh. two. Right, oh, we've made a decision, and um, I was right. Uh, we did have an argument about it. So it's a little one. Where, where did um where are we ending up? Then? We're at Little Roper Stock right. Camp. Yeah. yeah. So I booked a powered site here. Um, normally we just go on power, but it's getting really hot. We're still in May. Is that it? Um, no, there'd be a sign that says, That's oh, it. there it is. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Dad, you have to look at this one over here. He's massive. Have you got a massive one over there? Right there oh, you're joking. Give me a look. That one went down. Whoa. <laughs> that is a big pig, man. Looks like he's drunk. <laughs> it looks like he's drunk. <laughs> what he's snorting laying down. See the one behind you. Hmm. <laughs> They look like baby ones, Phil. <laughs> well done, Bezzy. I fed him. Look at this fella. He's friendly. Oh, look at this. Hey, buddy. Can we pat them? Oh, yeah, you can tickle well, him on the nose. Massive. He likes it. Who? You pat him on the nose, the big one. He looks like a camel cut. Here you go. He'll be alright. Here yeah, you go. Look at that big hump on him. I can't pat <laughs> Don't reach through too far. Ah, oh, see? <laughs> 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 
she tell me she sometimes I put my ma her mask. Dad, you have to yeah. put the sky. They just look so Dad, cute. Look, this, snake. look this one's swimming along. Hey Dad, look at the snake. Whoa. Oh, it's You're joking. Oh, Dad, he's the black the blue tongue lizard. Dad, he's the blue tongue lizard. I can't see him. Show me the crop. Where is he? I can't see him. Oh, there he is. I am sad. Bit of springs, mate. I know. We <laughs> wanted like literally the best thing ever. One of our favourite things to do around Australia. <laughs> Well, um, tell me, didn't, didn't one of our kids learn to swim here? Yeah, actually, uh, we've got video of Charlie like swimming underwater here. We, we just taught her to like dunk and everything. So hopefully we can find it and throw it in here. But yeah, it's kind of cool coming back to all these places. I've got lots of little special memories and I don't know whether Justin's told you, but we're staying at Little Roper Stock Camp and it's where Billy learned to ride his bike. Like he come off his training wheels. So there you go. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> it is cool. Mm. This is our pick of the springs around here. Mataranka's too touristy, too man-made, yep. too um, busy. too small and oh busy. Yep. This one, even when it's busy, you still get a bit of your own spot because you mm. float down the river, right? It's just, we'll show it feels you. so much more natural. It's just beautiful. It does. Check it out, the walk in. Got here, mate. <laughs> yeah. It's not a crab pot. Ugh. You know they put these in here because they reckon if a cock swims past them, he'll take the red float, and the ranger will know. <laughs> that makes it feel safe, mate. <laughs> well, there you go. That was Little Roper Stock Camp. Love that joint, mate. If you're coming through the north and you need to go to Mataranka, which you have to, you need to go there. You don't must it's need it's i don't know what i'm saying right there you go that is little roper stock camp if you're coming through the northern territory and you're visiting mataranka and the thermal hot springs and bitter springs you have to stop in there mate it is killer this morning we got up um johnny cakes by the fire he brought out some snakes for the kids kids loved it how good were the snakes kids it's awesome it was awesome and they, also I did have they don't charge for kids here so it's 35 bucks for a pound site killer I'll tell you what, you're probably going to want power if you're near yeah. too, because it's some stinking hot harvest. <laughs> and it's but, May. Yeah. But beautiful spot. Great old fella, Des. Say good day. Have a Johnny cake. Um, sit around the fire. Go and see Nathan Whippy Griggs last night. We've seen the Whippy Griggs show. Oh, oh my God. Absolute highlight. Got to up. I'll drop in some footage here now. Yeah. Jack got up, um, pretended to be a steam train for Whippy <laughs> while he did his whips, mate. It was really good. Ah, oh, it was. Yep really good show we've heard about it for years yeah and i never i'm like oh yeah it's a whip show mate it is he's next level i've yeah. never seen he's a legit performer yeah. like he just had the crowd loved it going so get yeah. around him i don't know he spends three months at mataranka most years i think uh does the tourist season and does shows like four or five nights a week um and he just passes the hat around make sure he gives him some cash because yeah. that's how he makes a living and i'll tell you what you won't see anything like that no. anywhere else around the country so well done whippy whippy So I need a volunteer for that, preferably somebody with a really loud mouth. I know you guys have got a loud mouth at the back there. I usually get a kid up for this one, though. No. Yeah, we might not be able to get a kid up tonight. There's not too many kids here. Is there anyone that, one of you guys over here if you got a loud mouth for this? Nah. 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 You guys out in the front here looks like you do, mate. Yeah, come on up you here. Alright, what's your name, mate? Jack. Jack, nice to meet you, Jack. I need you to stand over on the edge of the mat here for us, Jack. And where are you from, buddy? Um, you're from Queensland. Yeah. 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 Alright, so Jack, you come all the way to Mataranka from Queensland to see my show tonight? Yeah, yeah perfect. Yeah. Let's give him a big round of applause, our team. Don't know what get up. Everybody clapping for you and cheering makes you feel pretty good, doesn't it? <laughs> now you know how I feel. All right, buddy, they're going to go off even louder. 
But what you got to do first is you got to scream into this as loud as you can, like this. For us, Catherine, pick up a heap of parcels, big stuff from the post office. Find a little caravan bar that people have been telling us about, yeah. where you oh. get a coffee and a toasty. Yeah, it's called something Russian, the caravan Russian bar or something. But anyway, apparently, good coffee, good toasties. We're hitting there next. That's it, and um, yeah, that'll be about it, I think. And we'll punch through to um, Edith Falls. That's our plan. Just leaving Catherine and I've got a little bit of a funny feeling in my guts actually because <laughs> last time we left Catherine the car blew up <clears throat> so yeah <laughs> it wasn't the best day of our traveling lives if you've been following us for a while you would have seen that vid but if you haven't I'll put it in up here we made it half an hour north of Catherine before uh, we had a hose let go and we cooked our engine and um, yeah long story short we got one under warranty, we were just within our warranty period on the Mazda. Uh, but it was kind of our the moment that made us realise, let's get a cruiser. So, um, <laughs> everything happens for a reason, eh? We pretty much locked in the build about a week later. <laughs> we did. We organised to get the cruiser built while the new engine was getting put in the Mazda. Um, while we sat in cans for six weeks. So, anyway, it sort of goes to show you need good roadside assist which um, we have RACV top cover. They just, I don't know, we, we got lucky, I think. We just got it um, when we started traveling. We've always had it and it looked after us very well. We had flights, accommodation, towing, everything got sorted under that one policy, which cost us about 250, 300 bucks a year. So make sure you got some just good roadside assist. Whatever state you're in, just get the top cover. Yeah, just the top cover. It's well <laughs> worth it, mate. If you have an act, like if you have a breakdown, in the middle of nowhere, it'll really save your skin. Anyway, we're going um, to Edith Falls. Now, this is a funny place. We've dropped in before a few times. We've swum in the bottom pool. We've never done the top pools walk, the upper pools. That's what we're doing today. And then we're gonna stay at a little free camp just outside of there. So we'll take you in, show you that one on our way to Darwin. We finally made it to the Edith Falls upper pool walk. Can you believe it? Yeah, I can believe it. <laughs> Can you? I know, it took us five years. There you go. So it's two kilometres return, uh, and there's a big one. This Sweetwater pools look sick, but I don't think we're going to be able to do 8.6 k's, dear. What do you got over here? Oh, I'm just looking. Oh, so yeah. we're going to go here. Oh, there you go. Yeah. We're so not this one go. here, I'll show you this when we get back. It's wicked, but it kind of feels like you don't feel safe swimming out there because it's so big. <laughs> it's, am I right? Yeah. <laughs> You're perfectly safe because it is a yeah. national park swimming hole. But when you're in the, out there in the middle of nowhere, after you walk past crocodile signs, you, know, past you don't feel real, real great. Mm. But anyway, this is where we're going up to these top pools. Yeah, walk around here. It'll be good. Into the pool. There you go. Because you boys are getting serious with your walking sticks. Look at you go. Hey. I want to show you this. Bearsy, wait up. Have you seen Bearsy's hiking attire? It's pretty <laughs> <Yeah>. good, isn't it? <laughs> Come up here, Bear. Show us what you're doing the hiking. <laughs> pair of togs and a pair of boots. You sorted. How's your walking stick going, Rui? Good. How old yeah. are you? You're eight or 82? What's happening? Eight. Eight? What do you need a walking stick for? <laughs> oh, oh, good save. Uh -huh, 
Karma, what did I do wrong? It's a towel and Jackie's 82. Oh, I think I just put my neck out. you, huh? Oh. <laughs> Lucky I put him from far away. <laughs> oh, that's clever. Anyway, this is nice. Yeah. We need this actually. The kids yeah, need to haven't... burn a bit of energy. Yeah, they're super tired, but because we've had two really late nights mm. in a row. Anyway, we haven't really done any exercise since we left Dallas, so. This is good. This is good. I'm actually keen for a swim. Oh, <laughs> oh what have you found, Bezzy? He's a lizard. Look at him. It basically, Dad found it, but he couldn't catch it, and I couldn't. He's a little frilly. Here, I'll show me. Hold him like that so he doesn't he run. Oh, oh, don't hurt him. Don't hurt him. Here you go. Let's put him out on a rock and leave him, let him go, Bear, quick. I'm going to show him to Mum. All right. Bears has got something to show you, Mum. Oh, I can hear it, Becky. Oh, so keen for a swim. So close, you can hear it and you can see it. Check this out. <laughs> oh. How nice is that? You going in there? Wow. That is just beautiful, mate. It's so pretty. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. So hot. Right it. Out of 10, what do you give this joint? 11. 11. <laughs> <laughs> oh it's God. up there, right? Eh? So favorite. sticky. I think because it's such a hot day today, this is just, oh, magic. Oh, this is one of my faves, eh? Oh. This is so good, mate. Like, the water tank, you can sit in here all day. The yeah. kids aren't worried about <laughs> freezing and they're not asking to get out. And it's not a mission to get here. That's the best thing. <laughs> Upper pools at Edith for the win, mate. <laughs> I'll tell you what, not a bad way to work up a thirst either. Oh, I know. I actually feel like a glass of wine now. You beauty. All right, we're going to find a free camp. We'll show you where we end up. Meow. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. Uh, we have arrived at Pussy Cat Flats which is um, near Pine Creek, so you turn off to go towards Kakadu. It's a kilometre up the road. We're just rolling in here now, so we'll show you a bit about it. But there's powered and unpowered camping. Really good for kids, apparently. Uh, shady sites, grass. So we're gonna roll in and check it out. There you go. Grass inside. No free camping. Fair enough. Hey, we didn't end up staying at the Edith River one. It was a bit dodge, and it was bloody stinking hot too, so. Uh, a little bit of grass would be nice and soft. Yeah. Come in here and yarn to the missus, but this is Pussycat Flats. What do you think about Pussycat Flats, my love? Pussycat Flats is great. I'm just unpacking from our little um, adventure. It is bloody hot. But, but yeah, it's stinking hot. What I'm going to do, I'll take you for a bit of a look around, but from what I can gather, it's an old racetrack, like horse track or greyhound track. I don't really know, but that's over the side here. And then it's just a big grassy area. There's a few powered sites, a few unpowered sites. And yeah, a little playground for the kids. A few fire pits hanging around. A few termite mounds over here. Over this way, there you go. They're the powered sites up there and I think old mate must live up there as well. But happy days. Cold beer, fireplace. I am gonna use that tonight. Um, we've got timber that I've been carrying for ages. If I don't use it now, I might as well chuck it out. So we'll fire that up and there should be some good stars cranking tonight because there's no moon. Anyway, a couple of quiet beers, hot arvo. And uh, I've got some pork ribs for the barbie as well. Giddy up. Ah, all right. Hey, I'm going to leave that vid there. We're about to hit Darwin. 200 k's until we get to Darwin, do you excited? I know, I love Darwin. <laughs> I, oh, actually, a little FIR. I used to live in Darwin. She did, back when she was a mad and, dog. Yeah, I was a mad dog. Um, before I met Justin. <laughs> there you go. Uh, I'm glad she got that out of her system before she met me. Yeah. Anyway, uh, no, Darwin's a wicked spot. We haven't got much planned up there other than me doing a lot of fishing. Uh, if you can hear me over the glass of that here at the moment, actually. 
But this is a good little spot, Pussycat Flats, check it out. Um, anyway, we'll see you in Darwin next time. As always, comments, questions, feedback down below. Jack, what's your, what's your little blurb? I don't, do I have a blurb? Say like and subscribe. Like and subscribe <laughs> and give us the, yeah, feedback and drop a comment, thanks. Love it. You're such a good audience. Cheers, guys. Catch you later. Toodles.